most people, cross-culturally and throughout time, believe in the existence of an invisible world that is richly and diversely populated by beings who transcend time, they transcend the limits of human capability, and we call them things like gods and demigods. And on occasion, some of those beings can make themselves manifest visually or by having a material impact on the world. In the same way that I might have a relationship with a human being or a multiplicity of people, we have those kinds of relationships with deities, except the other end is more powerful. The academic study of religion doesn't ask do those beings exist or not? Instead, we look at what human beings do in relation to that belief. Rituals, struggles for power, discourse about ethics, justification for our own actions. Religious practices are practices. They have to do with the things that you do, not just the things that you're thinking. So when we see people doing bad things in the name of some type of God or set of doctrines, that's an example of one of the things that people do with religion, right? It's not that they're doing religion wrong. It, it is what it is. We do with it whatever it is that we want to do with it. Because what we're calling religion is so deeply embedded in human cultures that it's not separate from economics. It's not separate from politics. It's not separate from sexuality. It's not separate from anything else. It's part of everything that people do.